Uh, did you work on building this duck? Yeah, yeah. Cool. So what's the brain inside? Oh, how does this, how does this work? Yeah. So this is a social robot for children with cancer. Uh -huh. uh, it's an interactive companion for these children. It has a bunch of different sensors. It has capacitive touch sensors, so you can what? tickle the robot. It can give a affectionate cuddling response. Uh -huh. It has a series of buttons, like a mouth button for feeding the duck, what? a photo sensor that changes its personality, whether it's light or dark, and then a series of Wait. features. Oh, wait, please go on. Oh, and then a series of features based on 12 months of ethnographic research with kids and doctors and child life specialists. Whoa. And so that includes, uh, first, uh, for medical play, a chemotherapy accessory. So for kids who receive chemotherapy intravenously, they have a porta cath that uh, is a kind of a needle that pricks oh. on uh, over their skin. So the children can do the same thing with their duck as a way to become more familiar with what is like very scary and foreign, you know, medical devices. The duck will respond to the port accessory and a vibration speaker will give actually the duck a heartbeat. So there's a nice tactile, like haptic response that's calming for kids. Um, there's also a series of RFID uh, feeling cards. So when kids get really stressed, uh, they can become nonverbal. And they also shield their parents sometimes because they don't want to cause their parents stress. Right. Um, so this is a way to take the spotlight off the child and the parent instead to say, hey, your duck is going to get you know, this treatment today or go through this process. How might that make the duck feel? And then kids can kind of reveal how they're feeling by through the duck. So they could say, oh, that's going to make the duck really scared. That changes the duck's personality, changes the way its quack sound. And then parents or child life specialists can say, well, like, how do you want your duck to feel? Right. And a child might say, like, I really want my duck to feel calm. Uh -huh. When they hold the calm card to the duck, oh, let's see if I can get it again. When they hold the calm card to the duck, the duck will make a series of deep breaths. So wow. they can do breathing exercises together to help recenter the child and uh -huh. feel like a little bit more centered. There's also a spaceship accessory Whoa, yes. that blasts kids off to like a different place. So that makes the duck become kind of like a sound machine. Uh -huh. um, so it's a little bit hard to hear in this environment, but there's some crickets, like some water sounds. babbling, yeah. and kids get to like go to a series of different uh, soundscapes if they'd like to. Cool. And it comes yeah. with uh, also a mobile app that enhances a lot of the play that's already available in the standalone. Uh -huh. Uh, so that's like this one is just a forest scene of the soundscape that you're hearing. There's also a place to feed the duck and bathe the duck uh, and do some medical play with the duck. Cool. Uh, I'll admit, I, at first I just kind of thought this was a marketing gimmick. I'm sure a lot of people say this, like, but it seems like you've seriously put a lot of thought into like yeah, absolutely. and research. That's really cool. Yeah. It's kind of fun because it's, uh, you know, it captures something that's very serious, but in a, in a very approachable way. So. What's um, what does it run on? Uh, it runs and on batteries. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so it's got a series of motors, and all the sensors are powered by a microprocessor inside of the duck. Uh, there's a microphone; it can detect speech or music. It'll quack back to you when you talk to it when it's in silly mode. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't suppose you can say what microcontroller or what uh, processor is inside. Uh, it's the same chip that's common in in other products like this. Okay. Yeah. Um, you said it has a dark and a light mode, depending on the light levels. Um, what's yeah. that? So it, it, when the lights are out and it's bright, it, uh, things will be a little bit louder, and the brights, lights are a little bit brighter. When it's dark, it's a little bit more cozy and a little bit more soothing. Also, 